Welcome back, guys. So here on Long Island, all the snow melted from the long winter, and I finally got to check the beach for some driftwood. And I found this piece. I don't really know what type of wood it is, but it's pretty dense, and the grain looks pretty cool. So I'm going to turn it into a handle to an old Irwin saw. I bought this saw about a year ago because I needed a thin curved saw blade, but I didn't really like how the handle bent off to the side of the blade because whenever you'd push it through a workpiece it would kind of wander and you could never really get a clean cut. So this gave me an excuse to make my own handle. Like I said, I don't really know what type of wood it is, but it's extremely dense and my 10 inch bandsaw had a really hard time just cutting the general shape out. I had to make a lot of angular cuts and then I had to take it to the sander and use a lot of hand filing to refine the shape. After I got the shape I wanted, I took it to the bandsaw and cut the final width out, and then I took it back to the vise and rounded over all the edges to make it more comfortable to hold. I used a countersink bit and then a Forstner bit on the other side and then pre-drilled for the machine screws that will hold the saw blade in. Next I just take it to the bandsaw again and I make the slot for the saw blade to fit into and I just take a few passes to widen it out so the saw blade will fit. Using a scrap and some CA glue, I filled the gap on the top of the handle, and once it dried, I sanded it flush and you could barely notice it was ever there. I don't like using any thick film finishes, especially on my hand tools, so I'm only putting a few coats of Danish oil, and I'll sand it between coats to make it really nice and smooth. Once that all dried, I got to test it out, and it's really nice and comfortable in your hand, and it cuts really well, too. So I'm pretty happy about this one. Hope you guys liked this one. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.